Welcome to this trading video on accumulation distribution indicator. And there are several types of accumulation distribution indicators. Uh, Chaikin did one. Um, there's an index that's accumulation distribution. I've done another video on that. And then the one I'm going to show you today, though, was developed by Larry Williams and released in his 1986 book, Secret of Selecting Stocks. Uh, accumulation distribution line, we'll just call it the AD line. It's very choppy, right? There's a lot of ups and downs and ups and downs, ups and downs. And for that reason, I find it very hard to read to make any sense out of it. I look at the black line. Now, that black line is now the exponential moving average, the zero, yeah, so-called zero leg exponential moving average. So it's going to move um, as fast as possible. And basically um, what we're looking for here is we're looking for, uh, and again, we can't trade this alone. Got to trade it with other things. Let me be clear with that. Trend is lagging. So we cannot trade this by itself. Got to trade it with a um, uh, a momentum indicator. Actually, this is considered a momentum indicator, but um, we're, I'm going to use it as a trend indicator, but we have to use it with a leading indicator, number one, and we also have to use it with a cycle indicator, number two, to time our entries, because this does not help you time when to get in, when to get out. And oh, by the way, uh, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, or even if you're just a viewer of my YouTube channel, I'll be happy to share with you my cycle indicator that helps you to time your entries with amazing precision. I mean, it's super accurate. That's the most precise thing you'll ever find. So just send me an email, barry at topdogtraining.com, and I'll be happy to give you access to that. Okay, so back here, what I'm doing now is I am looking for just the angle of the black line, the zero leg moving average. So here it's flat. So I would say, okay, during this time, um, there's no trend really, no, no clear trend. And you see the market's moving pretty much sideways. Then we start, uh, having the black line angling down. And so therefore then I would say, all right, now we've got a different situation. Now that it's angling down, the trend is down. All right. And another thing to look for, by the way, if you want to get a little earlier, signal on this is the spread between the moving average and the actual AD line. So you'll see that uh, the AD line starts angling down here. One way, by the way, you can do this too. That's a little extra tip. You can go up here and get your crosshair bar and lay it over the moving average because the crosshair bar is going to have a horizontal, straight horizontal line on it. You can look for the divergence there too not divergence, but the moving away. So here you can see that the um, moving average has now pulled away from the crosshairs right there. All right. So it's no longer horizontal and the blue lines moved below the black line. And so this would be about our first signal here and taking a short, you know, anywhere like below the low of these bars, then would get you into a short trade. All right, moving forward, now you see the uh, the same thing happen. So now the um, the black line, the moving average just moving up, and the AD line is above it. And so now we're saying, okay, now we're going to look for trades to the long side. And we definitely get them. Now again, look here where we get the market going sideways. And this is a big issue because a lot of times traders can make money with trends. Trends are very commonly taught, and when the market's trending, uh, okay, I'm making money, that's cool. Here's the problem though, then a lot of traders give back the money that they've made, and sometimes more, when the market goes into consolidation. So if you can just learn to avoid trendless markets, consolidating markets, that's worth a lot. That helps you avoid a lot of losses and then get you back into profit. So here again, the moving average is moving sideways and you can see again, price basically not really going anywhere, just kind of going sideways as well. And so you just stay out during that time or look for a different market to be trading during that time when that's clearly moving up or down. So here again, we get it right here at this point, we get the, um, get my arrow here. This is where we get the line going up. If we take our global crosshairs, oh, I can't do it because I drew that 
arrow on there. Let me take that arrow off for a second, just to demonstrate this example again. So we've got a global crosshairs there. See the horizontal line, then you see the moving average, the big thick black line moving above it, the blue line above that. Okay, we're in an uptrend starting right about there is where it's confirmed. Again, trend is lagging, so you wait for it to be confirmed. You need a lot of data to accumulate before it's confirmed. But it's still okay. You still got some money ahead of you. And so, in fact, if you take the trade there, you don't even have to wait for a breakout. A lot of people would wait for a breakout of that high. This would actually get you in before the breakout of that high. And then when people trade the breakout, they're actually adding to your position, they're pushing your position further into profits, which is great. And we say thank you. So, again, now here we get our reversal. So the 50MA, or I'm sorry, the uh, accumulation distribution starts going down, goes below the, the black line, okay, and down, down, down we go. So uh, uh, that's basically it. And by the way, this thing continues to go down, right? So it's sometimes you get short moves out of it, just like anything else in the market. Sometimes you get short moves, sometimes you get long moves. Here again, they cross. And what do we do? We go up. And if you traded that here where that signal is, again, you're up. So it's a very simple, what I love about it is the simplicity of it. It's pretty easy to read. And of course, I love it because it's pretty darn accurate as well. And we like things that are simple and accurate. Trading does not have to be complicated. Keep it as simple as possible. So if you like this video, please understand that, yeah, it's free here on YouTube, but if you got value from it, then you have an obligation to pay it forward by clicking on that share button below. Share it with other people. Spread the love. Spread good stuff. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then click the thumbs up icon below and leave a comment. I love your comments. Even if you disagree with me, that's cool. Write down your opinion and let's make this a community discussion. Now, I'm also giving away one of my favorite trans, uh, trade strategies called the rubber band trade. It has a very, very, very high win-loss ratio, and I'm going to give it to you for free. You can learn it in about 26 short minutes in a special video that I will give you by clicking the little eye with a circle around it at the top right hand of the corner of this video, or there might be a little description up there. And uh, if you don't see that, then there's definitely a description in the um, box below this video on YouTube. And if you're not watching on YouTube, then there's probably a link below or an opt-in form on the side. Anyway, once you do that, I'll personally email the video to you with the rubber band trade strategy.